All right, boys, back with another one for you, man. Today we got the IO probe using IO terminal um, to do a clone, read the image of a GM AC Delco E37 um, PCM ECM. Uh, so um, stay tuned also for uh, the uh, coming up N20 ECM using the FC200. So uh, first thing, I'll show you the pinout. So this is pretty much the pinout. You got two powers, can high, can low, um, and then your ground, and that's it. Now back to IO terminal. Um, uh, you you could first simply go double click on ECU info here. And once you have your, this will verify that your connections are done properly, right? Um, and you've got 12 volt power, you should have this color, as you can see here on IO Pro, right? Um, you click on read info and it's going to then communicate with the PCM. By the way, this light flashes when it is communicating. So you also know, and as you can see, it pulled up the VIN number, uh, all information, software calibrations that's on there. And also the seed, um, that could be important too. Um, now to back this up and clone it, you're going to then go to AC Delco E37 because that's what you can see that there at the back of the ECM. Now you want to have the boot sector rewrite uh, checked, and as you can pause and read that, um, and uh, we'll do a connect. As you can see, it's connecting. Once you go all the way to four, you should be good. Then you do a read EEPROM. And of course, you do this in reverse to uh, write it to another ECM. So it's already read it. So now we just go up here to memory dump. So this is the memory dump of whatever you just last read. That's the actual file. So um, if we scroll up, you can see the data at the beginning of that, of that file, which is on this one, the EEPROM for this E37 ECM. So you can see some of the ASCII values it's got here. So then you would click save here. And I've already saved it. So this would be, we could just save it like this, for example, which I already have it saved. Then you would hit save. And you would pretty much repeat the step for the flash. So you click on read flash. I'll go ahead and do it so you can see how long it takes on this E37. As you can see, it's processing, and you can see that the light is flashing, letting you know that there's um, data or transfer being communication happening. Still reading. I will note as well, important is sometimes when you do certain functions, like let's say you're reading the flash, reading this, then you might want to go back and check ECU info. You might get a failure, as in like a failure to communicate or something like that. In the case that happens, all you've got to do is go to the power connector. This supplies the 12 volt to the ECM. You unplug it and replug it, and that will basically uh, reset the PCM, you know. So it's still going. I'm going to go ahead and let it roll so you guys know exactly how long it takes on this E37. So you got an idea for other PCMs as well. Um, also I'll add that also, um, I was, um, going to do another video on the E30, 39, um, but there's an issue with the E39. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll make another video on it. Yeah, basically, well, I'll just tell you, basically the E39s I have, they're defective, so it will not allow a proper read. All right, so it's just about done here. So now you got an idea how long it takes to read the flash data, right? So we already did the EEPROM. So now it's done, as you can see here, reading flash, okay. So we'd be able to go to memory dump now. And then you would go to save, right? This is now the um, flash data, right? You'll be able to save it. 
and then we would be able to just save it, type it as something as like whatever you want. I put the VIN number in Flash, and then you would hit save, and that's it. Now to complete the clone process, you would pretty much then go back and write the same data to a uh, to your replacement uh, ECM. You would just connect it up and write this data back, and you would be done with cloning this ECM. Now something interesting I saw, um, you guys are definitely going to want to, if you're not subscribed to this channel, this is the only channel you're going to get like the real hardcore information. We don't have any secrets, none of those games over here. So we're going to show you everything that you, you don't find on the other channels because either they don't know or they are keeping secrets, man. Over here, we, uh, we show you everything. Okay, perfect example. After I copied the flash, uh, I went and tried to do the ECU info, and as you can see, I air it out, right? So I'm just going to disconnect the power, cycle the power. It cuts the power to the ECM and then puts it back. Now let's do read info. Yeah, this time it did read it. And as you can see, there's a VIN number that is uh, programmed into this ECM. Um, this VIN number, this ECM, I used it. Uh, this was a replacement ECM for a customer. Um, but I still ended up having a certain fault with this ECM. It gave me errors on certain circuits. So I believe it might be defective. But there was also an issue with the vehicle. Um, um, where... Yeah, I remember now they actually had a loose engine ground that goes from the engine to the uh, to the frame. Uh, it was a HHR, um, which caused pretty much most of the faults. I found out in the end and, re and repaired it, fixed the issue. But uh, here's the interesting note, which I'm going to be making more videos on this. So, guys, stay tuned, like and subscribe here. You can see this is the VIN number. So if you connect any scanner to this, uh, if this is installed in a car, that's the VIN number you're going to get. But when I actually edit the uh, the EEPROM, I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, I've got the EEPROM up here at line 110. Um, as you can see, there is our actual ASCII data with uh, our VID number, right? And this is what will be displayed. Now, if you've ever tried to program used ECMs, Glowlay, sometimes they'll fail. I believe what's happening is that there's another marker here with a previous fin, and that is what the SPS software is using to block you and not allow you to reprogram these PCMs. So if we go down here to line 210, I uh, just passed it. As you can see here, I've got another VIN. So stay tuned, guys. There's going to be some testing. I'm pretty sure this is what SPS is using to block you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some edits and testing on a vehicle. And stay tuned for that video on hacking SPS to use a use global A um, uh, PCM. All right, guys, to add um, on the FC200, by the way, just to show you, it doesn't have full Chevy support on the PCM side. So just so you can see, um, I'm just in the Impala, you can see it does have E39 support, um, some other ones, 6738, and that's about it. So just so you know um, what the FC200 could do on the Chevy side, another subscriber asked. Again, where the FC200 is going to be strong at is on your BMW, Mercedes, and whatnot. You're more on your German vehicles. And there is a FC200 video coming up next for the uh, BMW N20. So stay tuned, guys. Like and subscribe.